So sisters, Eid al-Fitr is around the corner. But while so much preparation and excitement is built up for this festival marking the end of Ramadan, do we as Muslims sometimes forget the essence of these three great days? Eid al-Fitr, also known as the smaller Eid, starts the day after Ramadan ends and is verified by the sighting of the new moon. Muslims give their money to the poor and they wear their best clothes. So how does your Eid begin? In my household, we wake up early and have a shower, which is a sunnah. In a hadith, if a person takes a bath before the Eid prayer, it is like he took a bath with zamzam water. Mm -hmm. We then get ready and attend special congregational prayers in the masjid. Mm -hmm. The prayer is generally short and is followed by a sermon, a khutbah. Muslims then greet and embrace one another in the spirit of peace and love. Eid al-Fitr is a joyous occasion with important religious significance, celebrating the achievement of enhanced piety. This is a day of forgiveness, moral victory, fellowship, brotherhood and unity. Muslims celebrate not only the end of fasting, but also thank Allah for the self-control and strength that has been achieved through this month of Ramadan. So, what do our sisters do on this lovely day? Habiba, tell us about your aid. Um, for me, the happy day is celebrated by waking up early in the morning mm. with lots of excitement mm. and the whole family prepares to go to the mosque together and we pray together and um, this is followed by um, eating lots of sweets okay. <laughs> early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, oh. a cup of coffee with uh, lots of Somalian sweets <laughs> okay. and um, visiting family. Mashallah. Mashallah, yeah. Halima. Well, this is going to be my second Eid, but the one that I'm, you know, really going to really celebrate. Okay. So myself and my daughter and my husband will go to the mosque mm. and um, invite family and friends round. And, you know, I'll be in the kitchen cooking <laughs> and, um, yeah, just really enjoy it. Really. And us round your house. <laughs> of course. Inshallah. 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 <laughs> Aisha, what's the significance of the Eid prayer and going to the masjid? Well, on Eid day, every person, every believing person, men, women and children should pray and participate on this joyous occasion. Um, and there's a hadith that I like to mention. And it was reported by Um Atiya that the Prophet <laughs> command, commanded us to bring out on Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha Young women, hijab observing adult women and the menstru menstruating women. The menstruating women stayed out of the actual prayer but participated in good deeds and dua. I said to the Prophet Sallallahu O Messenger of Allah, one does not have an outer garment. He replied, let her sister cover her with her garment. So Masha Alhamdulillah, Allah. everybody can participate. Yeah. Everybody. Masha Masha Allah. Allah. So how can we get our neighbours and our non-Muslim families involved? Mm. I think the best way to um, educate people is to tell them about it. And I think the best way to create interest is maybe possibly put up a decorations mm -hmm. outside your house or mm -hmm. your flat. And then they can actually see that and yeah. say, oh, what is, what's the occasion? And then you can come from that angle and explain to them that it's, you know, the end of fast. Um, I think also sending an Eid card possibly. You know how I get um, Christmas cards from mm -hmm. all my neighbours, so it's my festive season that I you know I send in return Eid card to them um, also maybe sharing some of the food on the day you know yeah, taking yeah. it to them and Definitely. yeah just light-hearted conversation about it and just like inform them of what it is and what we do mm. any other tips uh, Halima well yeah um Habiba covered it, all most of it anyway, but I would say that, yeah, some neighbours, they don't actually know about Eid or Ramadan and it is yes. good to get them involved in it and, you know, it is sunnah to share food with your neighbours anyway, mm. so mashallah. So, so what are you going to actually do to get your mother involved? <laughs> I'm going to invite her round, okay. mashallah. Yeah. That's good. And Liz, his mother as well, Good, inshallah. good, good. Oh. Inshallah. <laughs> There's also a hadith that I'd like to mention and it's um, been reported by Abu Ayyub al-Ansari. He said that the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan and then follows it with six days of shawal will be rewarded as if he has fasted the entire year. And it's good because like, mashallah, you can either fast consecutively or you can choose any days during, the, um, during that month. Yeah. And also think about fasting throughout the year as well because, you know, much yes. rewards you can get. Uh, Monday obviously, and Thursdays. Mondays and Thursdays mm. and also Hajj is coming up as well so we should think about you know fasting during that time even yes. though we can't participate you know in, in the, the hajj, yeah, yeah in hajj personally but we can still fast alhamdulillah mashallah 
So Halima, seeing as Eid is about families, what advice would you give to new Muslims? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, you know, that every nation, every people has a festival and ours is Eid, mashallah. You know, so I would advise new Muslims, you know, to get out there, meet other sisters, go to Eid parties, because there's so much going around okay. around that time anyway, you know, yes. so I myself will be at some of them Eid parties as well, mashallah. Yes. And we should consider that, you know, there are always new Muslims coming in, reverts yeah. coming in every single year, every single Ramadan, there's more. Yes. Sisters, brothers added mm -hmm. into the family, so we should consider, you know, yes, others as well. People. And, and it's lonely. Yeah. I, I was no, alone last year. Definitely. I mean, a lot of the time for me and my children, you know, we're alone. And mm -hmm. it's really difficult because we're competing with Christmas where yeah, you know, the, those houses are filled yeah. and there's yeah. lots of decorations yeah. and yeah. lights going on. Mm -hmm. So it, it is difficult. It's hard, especially mm -hmm. when you've got children as well. Yeah. You know? yeah. So Mashallah. we have to make the most of it. Yeah. Habiba. How can we make Eid exciting for children? That's really important, I think, because we, we just recently you mentioned about Christmas, you know, mm. being such a big festive yeah. that they feel like they're missing out. Mm. So Eid is their opportunity to celebrate, you know, for them friends to talk about it and yeah. get them in the spirit. Yeah. So I think um, decorating the house is something that they really enjoy yeah. kids, you mm -hmm. know, puts them in the, in the Eid festive yes. um, mood. Uh, maybe... Um, Get gifts for them, um, give small gifts to their friends as well. Okay. Um, you can do Eid cards together, yeah. you know, I love well, that. Actually, I think we're going to show that in the close-up, aren't we, later? I remember back home, actually, um, when it was Eid. I mean, the experience is just totally different, yeah. subhanAllah, because everyone is celebrating, and as a child, you go outside, and you knock on everyone's door, and you're given money or sweets, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It, was, it was brilliant. It was well, so I think we think we're going to be showing that a lot in our close-up mm. later. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Oh, well, I mean, I totally would say the same thing as you. Um, you know, it's just important just to make the effort yeah. to, you know, make it special for them. You know, like we are competing with other festivals, yeah. you know, in our children's eyes. So, yeah, yeah I'd yeah. say, you know, make it a memorable memorable day mm -hmm. and do something that they love doing. You yeah. know, go somewhere that they love to go that's or exactly, where they've always wanted yeah. to go. Even yeah. if it's like an adventure park or something, you know, make it a day out for them. A special treat. Yeah. yeah. Inshallah. What are the implications of various countries celebrating Eid on different days, Aisha? You know, it's really sad and it's really upsetting to see this, you know, mm. when we do celebrate on different days. And, okay, leaving that aside, what about what's happening in this country where, like, people are celebrating Eid on, in different towns, you know? And Islam discourages disunity and, you know, it goes against the beauty of Islam. Yeah. So, And the Prophet said yeah, that right. fast with people, People, break your fast, i.e. celebrate Eid al-Fitr with people and celebrate sacrifice with people. Mm. So this, he's encouraging us to, to stick together, together, especially when you, yeah. we are living in a country that is an Islamic um, country and we yeah. need to yeah. stick together. I think, I think being in the same country, at least you have to, you should celebrate yeah. on the same day because Inshallah. you see the people that you fasted the, the 30 days together and you, you know, you did tarawih together mm. yes. and then you're it's calling them sad. and saying happy Eid and oh, 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 we're not celebrating until yeah. two days or tomorrow. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. it's really sad yeah. yeah Halima have you ever experienced this well no I haven't as I said this is going to be my, my first time that I'm actually celebrating Eid so you know I'm just observing everything yeah you know well may Allah inshallah, unite, us all. unite us all this year yes. inshallah. 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 we have to make we have to take the steps forward though so there you have it although we're, we come from all different backgrounds you can actually see the spirit of Islam mashallah do let us know how you celebrate Eid and if you've done anything extra special. Remember, it's a time for family, a time to make amends, and a time to bring community together. Let us end with a takbir that is proclaimed before the Salat al-Aid. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Allah is great, Allah is great, there is no God but Allah. Allah is great, Allah is great, and all the praise is for Allah. Alhamdulillah.